So welcome to Liddypool, birthplace of the Beatles. My name is David Bedford and we're going to go and explore some more of the Beatles Liverpool. Today we're going to Garston, it's a part of South Liverpool. A couple of very important places here. So uh, let's go and have a wander, see what we can find and tell you some great stories about the Quarrymen and the Beatles. So Garston was uh, based very much around the docks. The docks are still busy but not as busy as they were back then. As we scroll round here, this was the site of Garston swimming baths. Uh, I used to come here swimming when I was a kid. It was known locally as the blood baths. And you may wonder why. Well, that's because there were dances here and in the void where the building used to be, where the swimming pools were, used to have a wooden dance floor. And they put the dance floor down and the groups like the quarrymen would play here. But it became known as the blood baths because there were fights so many times. Because one of the biggest problems was because you had the lads and the girls eyeing each other up. But because it was a place with the docks, you had the local sailors in as well. And there would be two lots of guys going after one lot of girls. And that would normally end up in a fight of some sort. So eventually the, uh, the dances were stopped. But it has a far more important significance than the swimming baths because it has molten carpet center now i know that doesn't sound too exotic but there's a good reason as we walk up here because on this site was a place called wilson hall and this is one of the venues where the quarry men played and a very famous photograph was taken here now a lot of people think the photo was taken at New Club Moor Hall, which is what we were told for years, but actually it was taken here at Wilson Hall and it's the photo of the Quarrymen performing as the first photo with Paul McCartney. So you had John and Paul at the front and they got their jackets on and they got their bootlace ties and they're all in white, looking very country and western of course. And it was taken here and now that's been confirmed by Colin Hanton, the drummer with the Quarrymen. Uh, and Charlie Roberts, who took the famous photo, of course, of the Quarrymen at Roseberry Street. Uh, he was here the night when Les Kearney took that famous photograph. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe, because there's going to be more like this coming up very, very soon. If you join me in Liddypool, birthplace of the Beatles.